talk? Well, the death of a beloved principal is tough for all, but how do you talk to children about the situation? Joining us now live in the newsroom is Kimball Richardson. He's a uh, licensed mental health counselor with Community Health, and mm -hmm. I want to kind of get some background. What should people keep in mind as they try to explain what happened to their kids or young ones? Well, keep in mind that kids need to have a chance to talk, uh, that parents, I think, will quickly want to come in and sort of rescue and, and support, which is great. You want to have lots of hugs and kisses, but also let the kids talk. Uh, um, tell them that their feelings are normal, that it's okay to feel sad, angry, afraid, whatever it is, and then um, help them to process it, information over the next couple of weeks. And you kind of touched on this a little bit, but is there anything that they shouldn't do, any no-nos? Um, I probably wouldn't say things like, uh, you shouldn't feel this way. Um, I think when parents say that, what they're saying is, I don't want you to feel this way. It's mm -hmm. hard for me to see you upset. But when you say shoulds and things, sometimes that's taken as uh, the kids don't understand it this way but it sounds judgmental yeah. so. all right well all good advice especially um, handling this tricky yes. situation our hearts go out to the school and that community of yeah. course. well Kim Bulverson joining me live in the newsroom thank you so much for your time well we're also inviting you to share your memories of principal Jordan on our RTV6 Facebook page we will also continue to follow this story very closely in the coming days What's up, buddy? you any new How details you doing, man? on the investigation into the crash as well as funeral services for Susan Jordan. You can find all of our coverage on the RTV6 app. And we see the sunshine break through this afternoon. This is looking west, obviously, with our Weather Now camera. A couple of noticeable things. White River, not so much ice anymore. We'll take another view. Western Indiana seen the biggest benefit from the...